This is the can crushing demonstration. What I have is a little bit of water inside the bottom of the can and it's boiling. The boiling water is a hot gas inside the can, so what I do is I'll flip this into the cold water. The cold water will rapidly decrease the temperature of the gas inside the can. If the temperature decreases, the volume decreases. If the volume decreases, the pressure decreases. If I have low pressure inside the can and high pressure on the outside of the can, the can will be crushed by the atmosphere. So the can has been crushed. To do this chemistry demonstration, what you'll need is something to heat a empty aluminum can on. You could use your stove, I'm using a hot plate. You need an empty aluminum can for crushing. You need some type of vessel where you could make an ice bath. The can has to be able to be flipped into the vessel. So if it doesn't fit very nicely, you might need a different vessel. It doesn't have to be clear, but that does help uh, make it more visible. You need something that you can grab this can once it's hot, okay? You could have a variety of different things to do this. Um, I would caution you that you should practice before, do a dry run before the can gets hot. For example, if I was gonna try to use these tongs, which I'll tell you right now, they're not gonna work. And the reason why they're not gonna work is because I can't grab this can very easily. It slides away. So these tongs would not be a good option for grabbing the can. Um, likewise, if I were to use rubber mitts like this, I'm not going to be able to very easily grab the can without getting the rubber on the stove top and it'll burn the rubber. And so uh, it can be difficult to do this because it, it covers so much of the can. So these rubber mitts probably would not be a good option either. Um, you could use a, a, a thicker fabric glove, one that's not going to melt if it accidentally touches the stove. And so you're gonna to wanna, to, instead of grabbing it like this, you're gonna actually wanna use an underhand grip and come in this way so that when you flip it, it's a lot easier to just flip it into the vessel. So if you grab it underhand like this, rather than like this, it's gonna be a lot easier to flip. Okay, this you can flip also, but it's not as easy. So a old glove works, but the one that I'm gonna actually use is just using an old belt. And so, by using an old belt, I can wrap the belt around the can and then I can tighten my grip on it using the belt. So I kind of have an idea of what length of belt I need. So I'm prepared to put that right over the can, tighten it at the bottom, and then flip, okay? And again, I'm doing that underhand grip rather than an overhand grip. That might be a little bit more difficult, okay? And so a belt, an old belt was a good option for that. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to get a little bit of water and put it into the can. And what this does is it provides something to evaporate in the can. I just have a little bit to cover the bottom and then I want to start heating it up. Okay. And so if I have a little bit of water to evaporate in the can, that's going to be a gas that's going to expand in the can. And then so when I rapidly cool the can by putting it in the ice bath, it's going to contract. And when it contracts, that's going to lower the pressure. And when the pressure is lower, the higher pressure from the atmosphere will, will crush the can. Okay. Uh, once that's heating up, you want to get your ice bath going. So just a couple of handfuls of ice will do it. Um, as long as you have melting ice, it's going to be a cold ice bath. So add your ice, add the water, and you want to make sure it's cold. You don't want to fill it too high because once you put the can in there, it might overflow. So you want to be careful with the height of the water in there. Okay. At this point, you're just going to wait for it to heat up. Once you see some steam coming out of the top, you can grab it and flip it. And it has to be flipped because closing the top, making a closed system so that the air has nowhere to go is important because if the air has nowhere to go, it's just going to contract rather than leaving the can. And it's going to cause that decrease in pressure, allowing for the atmosphere to crush it. And that's the setup for the can crushing demonstration.